If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like this video, 我不给一个屎 <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Shou Shou Chinese. Shou Shou Chinese. I'm Shou, your Chinese native speaking teacher living in Bangkok, Thailand. It is really common for Chinese language learners to directly translate the expressions of their first language to Chinese. But as you can guess, it may sound super weird or funny to Chinese native speakers because, after all, translation is not only about the language; it also has something to do with the culture and different scenarios. That's why, as a Chinese teacher, when my students ask me, "How do you say the English sentence in Chinese?" I will always translate the English sentence into a scenario. And then I translate the scenario to Chinese. So I found this post on Weibo, aka Chinese Reddit, in which people are sharing the Chinese sentences that sound super English, huh? thus super hilarious. In this video, I'm gonna share those sentences to you, and I will tell you what you should say instead of just translating directly from the English sentences. Do you know what you can get by joining Shou Shou Chinese's membership site? First of all, you will get the PDF transcripts of all my videos. And if you just started learning Chinese, the sentence structure training audio lessons will be super helpful for you. The training is not only about repeating what I say; you also get to practice forming sentences and use the grammar construction to speak Chinese on your own. And this is how we train our brain to start thinking in Chinese. If you are an intermediate or advanced level learner, you will love the Independent Learner Program. Which includes an easy reading article tailored to your specific level, and its audio file. You also get two flashcard sets, and the program also has a mini podcast based on the article. So if you want to break through the bottleneck, get a better understanding of the real Chinese conversation, and eventually be more like a native speaker. Go to my Patreon page, which is linked in the description box, and subscribe to your own HSK level tier. Let's take a look at the post itself first. 如何用纯汉字说一句英文？如何用纯汉字说一句英文？如何 is the formal version of 怎么？纯 means pure. How to say an English sentence with pure Chinese characters? And here it goes. 这是一个好问题这是一个好问题 This is a good question. I actually have mentioned it in my previous video. I will show you a short part of it. You know, sometimes I really don't understand you guys because when we Chinese people say 这是一个很好的问题 we do mean it. This is a good question. 这就是一个很好的问题 But it seems that sometimes when English speakers say this is a good question, they don't really mean it. 那你觉得你和别人有什么不一样？哎，这是一个很好的问题。没有啦，我不知道哎。这是什么鬼问题啊？我哪知道 ？So next time, say 这是一个很好的问题。When you really feel this is a good question, don't make your Chinese friend feel happy for nothing. And if you don't really think it is a good question, you just never have thought about it, and you need more time to think about it. You can say, "Hmm, 怎么说呢？怎么说呢？嗯，我没有想过哎。”我没有想过，哎，嗯，我想一想啊，我想一想啊。Let's see other people's replies. 我不能同意更多。I will give you three seconds to think about what it means. 我不能同意更多。I can't agree more. Not only is it a grammatically incorrect sentence, it also sounds super weird to Chinese native speakers. If you want to show that you totally agree with this person, 
You can say, 我完全同意你。我完全同意你。你说的太对了。你说的太对了。对对对，你说的一点儿也没错。你说的一点儿也没错。Likewise. I couldn't care less. Is not, 我不能关心更少 You can say, 我完全不关心我完全不关心我完全不在意我完全不在意无所谓无所谓 Or you can even say. 关我屁事！关我屁事 ！Next reply. 听起来很好。Sounds good. You may be surprised that we actually don't say "sounds good" in Chinese often. If it is in a meeting and somebody proposed a really good idea, you can say, "Hmm, 这个主意还不错。这个。主意还不错。Or 这个计划挺好的。这个计划挺好的。And in some less formal situations, say your friend suggests meeting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. You want to say sounds good. You can say 好啊，好的，没问题，好啊。嗯，好的，没问题。我不，<笑>我不给一个屎。I don't give a shit.、Huh? This is a okay. I don't give a shit is basically a is basically a different version of I couldn't care less. So you can also say, 我完全不关心，我完全不在意，无所谓。Or, 关我屁事！我不认为这能工作。I don't think it can work. <laughs> When you say 工作 in Chinese, it just means 工作 to work. If you want to say a device doesn't work, you can say 我的电脑坏了。我的电脑。坏了，我的网有问题。我的网有问题。Or if you want to say a suggestion, an idea, or a method doesn't work, you can say 这个方法没有用。这个方法没有用。这个办法不管用。这个办法。不管用 ，and if you want to say a relationship doesn't work, you can say 我们不合适。我们不合适。我们之间有些问题。我们之间有些问题。Or you can go more straightforward. 我们分手吧。我们分手。吧，请让我知道，如果你有任何问题 ，Please let me know if you have any questions. In Chinese, a less formal way to say this is: 如果你有什么问题，就告诉我啊。如果你有什么问题，就告诉我啊。如果你还有什么不清楚的，就告诉我啊。如果你还有什么不清楚的，就告诉我啊。More formal, like when you're writing an email, you can say, 有任何问题，欢迎和我们联系。有任何问题，欢迎和我们联系。Here, 欢迎 doesn't mean welcome anymore. It means feel free. 如有任何问题，请致电。如有任何问题，请致电。Likewise, I will let you know. 
我会让你知道 is not correct. You can say, 我会告诉你。我会告诉你。如果有什么问题，我就告诉你啊。如果有什么问题，我就告诉你啊。我之后再告诉你哦。我之后再告诉你哦。我等一下告诉你哦。我等一下告诉你哦。希望你有一个好的周五夜晚。I also mentioned it in this video that Chinese people normally don't say "Have a nice day," "Have a good weekend," or anything like that. But these are very, very weird, which will make you sound immediately like a 老外 We usually end our conversations like "Bye bye." 再见啊，下次聊啊。哦、oh, ，好的好的，嗯嗯嗯，好。Or state what we are going to do, such as， 嗯，好，那我先去买咖啡啦。嗯，好，拜拜。我先走了啊，我还要去幼儿园接我的儿子。啊、uh, ，好。I put the link of the Weibo post in my description box. So if you want to see more hilarious translation and practice your Chinese reading, go check it out. So these are all the content of today's video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like this video, 我不给一个十 <laughs> And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out the great chance to improve your Chinese. I'm sure from 说说中文 I will see you in my next video. 再见